What's up guys, Tommy Paul here coming to you on day 10 of the Live Alpha June video series. I want to do a really quick video, it's going to be short but super important today uh, because there's a lot of stigma around this idea of hard work versus quality work. Uh, quantity versus quantity, excuse me. Quality versus quantity. And uh, basically, a lot of you guys who are in my community, um, maybe it's self development or marketing, know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like Grant Cardone's philosophies versus Ty Lopez's philosophies, or um, Gary Vaynerchuk kind of philosophy versus Tim Ferriss kind of philosophy and uh, I, you know as someone who studies all of these people and get you know little nuggets from from all of them I can I can tell you where I stand um, on this topic so the first thing is always it's so important to me to always avoid extreme ideologies. So I don't think that either of these philosophies is right in and of itself. You know, I personally think Ty Lopez was right when he says that the goal is not to work hard. Like, yes, it is necessary sometimes, but the goal should never be to work hard every day of your life. Because there is a lot of people who are struggling uh, you know, working hard every single day. But at the same time, if you don't put in quantity at some point, um, then you're never going to know, or maybe it's just going to take you longer to figure out what kind of quality of work to put in. So, um, I in this particular case, I have to say the truth is somewhere in the middle. And I am, I am aware that it is a logical fallacy in and of itself to say that the truth is always in the middle. Um, and that's not really what I'm saying. In this particular situation, I'm just saying that the truth is somewhere in the middle. It certainly is. And I'm actually here. Here's where I'm sleeping tonight, right here. I got this little bed made out of chairs here from my kitchen. The reason why is because I uh, I have a two bedroom and I'm kind of uh, I'm letting people stay here, you know, just as another source of income. But I'm not going to get into that too much right now. Um, the point is, well, you know, last night actually I literally slept on this hardwood floor this hardwood floor right here with literally nothing except for a sheet, a bed sheet under me. And, you know, I, so my point is I was raised in a way that I could appreciate hard work, but over the last few years and really more like months I've been starting to realize the power of hacking your biology biohacking and hacking the power of your own brain to get more quality work done rather than just quantity or even just um, get more quantity of work done in a healthy way so I'm here to tell you that from my personal experience and my opinion they're both pretty much right and I'll tell you one thing my job is to source people that are a lot more knowledgeable than me but the one thing that I know to be true is that you should always avoid extreme ideologies always so I don't care what it is I, I personally can't stand people on the left or the right side of either demographic party political party for example just because I can't I can't stand people like that it drives me insane so 
that's the beauty of living in your own little world is you get to decide what to do with it and what to believe but it is important to develop critical thinking on your own and make these decisions for yourself and not just believe what some self-proclaimed guru or coach is telling you um, so there's a lot of hype around this quality versus quantity of work right now um, so I would like you guys feedback on it let me know what you think is the right answer um, so you can comment on this video in Facebook or in YouTube and let me know I'd love to hear your feedback on this I really appreciate you tuning in and watching. Tune in for day 11. It's going to be a lot more exciting than today. I just had to get that little rant out of the way. All right, late.